Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim. Eddie just came out here and stoked the fire. He keeps putting wood to it, trying to get us a good um, base of coals. And as soon as he puts a stick on there, it just ignites like it's ready to burn. And they are. Look, no smoke. We've got wood here. But that's not the end of it. Let me zoom in for you with my new setting on my phone that doesn't lose my voice when I talk. Look at all the wood he's got. And uh, I'm out here by myself. They're all in there cooking. I'll walk around here and show you. He cleaned his garage out today. Got his Harley parked over there in his jet ski, all covered up for the winter season, just like we did the wolf pup earlier. We covered it up. <laughs> yeah we're enjoying ourselves here with 30 amp power right here at my daughter's house and five acres <clears throat> this is his grandson's uh little go-kart he had to fix up for him we had to fix the brakes well he did it not me i helped him pump the pedal a little bit there's all the wood just gorgeous here. This is my lovely daughter, Christina. <laughs> Let me get back over here to the fire because, let me tell you, it's getting chilly. You know, I'm in the 40s tonight. <clears throat> what am I going to do in the morning when I wake up at my normal time and the time has rolled back an hour and it's going to be three or four in the morning? But well, they got two of these little. Uh, little water ball things here. Nice little noise. Look at that fire. Look at that dog. Come here, Harley. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Say hi to everybody out there. <laughs> where's your Where's your cat friend? Trisket. <clears throat> this is the life, guys. Oh, God, I'm out here enjoying it. We're having uh, chicken tenders, green beans, and they got some leftover squash we sauteed, and we're making some new uh, zucchini and some yellow squash. And uh, Eddie's making some rice. And uh, I think there's a, a leftover chicken breast I bought at Ingalls grocery store yesterday. I can bring out. They can heat that up. Yeah, this is nice. You hear those little water things? Crackling fire. My camper's right there. Kind of a bittersweet losing the wolf pup. Whoever gets it's getting a nice little camper. That recliner chair, you guys might remember that we bought and put in there. You know, the back comes off and then uh, you turn it sideways and you can stick it in there, you know, go through the door. Beautiful little recliner, It'd go nice in anybody's home or, you know, I'm gonna leave it in the camper and give it to the guy and, you know, I don't know whether he's gonna take it out or what he's gonna do with it. I offered it to my daughter. <clears throat> they don't really have a need for it here. And I said, well, maybe you should take it out and put it on Facebook market and sell it. <clears throat> it's not part of the camper. You know, it didn't come with something like that. I will be taking my 30. When you're done, I got a question. They got a question for me. I'm going to end this one here. And this is really a nice little fill-in uh, for the time that we're waiting to get the new camper. 
I'd like to address the uh, a few comments, not very many, but a couple comments about how Tammy and I pulled the camper over here and didn't really camp much in it because we were at the cabins and the chalets. And some of my uh, community has already answered for me as they always do because they listen. <laughs> some people just aren't listening. We have been camping in that for a year and a half. I have been. And we have been camping in it every night since we uh, left our last cabin offer. And now we bought another camper that we're gonna be camping in, in Florida, every night of the world. So when I was talking today saying I'm hooked on travel and I don't know, someone made a comment about what travel, you haven't even stayed in your camper, but that's semantics. We've been traveling, we've gone everywhere. We actually tried to talk about what we've seen in the last 30 days. And I went through the list and the list was long. You're talking about blessings. So many things that we have done that has been just unforgettable. This trip will never be forgotten, ever. It's been a long time and I love moving and going like that because I've done it all my life. And in Florida, I've been really sitting there for quite a long time without getting out and going anywhere. And it's just plain fun pulling that camper too, knowing you got a really nice tow vehicle. You don't even know it's back there. And you know, we stayed at a Cracker Barrel and got back there, I got the generator and I haven't even used that, but I have everything. And that's just the fun of it. And then it's the small things like sitting here at this fire. But yeah, a fantastic uh, 30 plus days now. And then for this blessing to come along to buy a new camper, trade in the old wolf pup, was absolutely a godsend because had I not brought it and found the camper up here I like, I know they have them in other dealers and other places, but it's just the way it worked out. And to be able to go home with the new one and stay in it, at least at night, <clears throat> take us about two days to get home. We're gonna leave here and then, you know, go about halfway. And I'm a very blessed man. Tammy runs as fast as she can from the house to the camper. Always got a jacket on, always freezing to death. <laughs> it's not even that bad. It was cold this morning, though. Hey, baby. Yeah? You remember when I was telling you the list the other day of all the things that we did? Yeah? What were some of them? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I talked about the house and the cabins and the... We went to the Blue Ridge Mountains. Oh, yeah, and that car show. Drove and around and around, yeah. A bunch of parks, hiking. And oh, yeah. We went to... Uh, we went to Park and went to Apple Trail. We yeah. To, um, we went to a winery twice. The winery up in the mountains. Yes. And we did camp out in uh, Maggie Valley. That was awesome. Yeah. And we ran into subscribers at Walmart. I had a couple of subscribers uh, that live in South Carolina, I believe they told me. Uh, we, had, we went to a friend's house, and then we had lunch with them at a barbecue place. Right, we ate plenty of barbecue. Uh, we still need to eat more. I want to go back. <laughs> yeah, that pink pig is good in um, uh, Cherry Bomb, Georgia. Cherry Log. Georgia but uh yeah that uh, the subscribers that showed up at the Maggie Valley campground we stayed at for uh, two nights that was a lot of fun anyway yeah I'm gonna roll your clocks back tonight I wish they would leave that alone I do not like that time I like it when it gets dark later I don't like it getting dark at 5 o'clock at night. I mean, shoot by 
7.30, you think it's 11 o'clock at night. It's been dark two or three hours. Yeah, I'm going to miss this. I really am. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll have some nice weather in Florida, too. But it might be another month or two before we get, you know, cool weather. And then it doesn't last long. We're going to get it here. All the trees, the leaves are about gone. Got it all nice. Eddie worked hard today getting this all set up. You have these little lights going down, this little tiki hut thing. Well, what his plans are, he was telling me today before I end the video, is over here. Let me show you. You remember the fire pit that we had uh, over at the uh, Sunrise Chalet? <clears throat> and at the uh, Hidden Creek Cabin. Well, uh, Eddie, he he came over uh, to the uh, Sunrise Chalet, and he liked the uh, fire ring, the fire pit that they had with the bricks around it, and then the, all the Adirondack chairs or whatever. This is a nice little flat area. <clears throat> they used to have the dog kennel that's down there. I'll zoom in for you. that Harley uh, goes in <clears throat> just to have his own little private time sometimes. And he was up here. And this is a very nice flat area. They've had trees removed. Uh, they've left these. And they've had a lot of them removed. Their property goes all the way down there. But he wants to build them a nice fire pit. He said, when you come back next spring, we'll have it. Look at all that wood he's got from all the trees they've cut down. They even gave a couple of the trees away, uh, the people that own some property over that way, and they're down there. So, firewood's not a problem. <clears throat> Look at this place. Isn't this nice? If you could feel this cool air I'm in, folks, I'm sure you got your own cool air if you're watching from one of the northern states, you're not in Florida. You got your own cool air, right? Check out these cool lights in the garage. Well, let me grab my non-alcoholic beer and go on in the house. I see Tammy just shot me a text. Probably telling me to come on in and do something, help out. I'm a big help to everybody. Last few days with the wolf pup. We're going to crush it, though, because we just came out after dinner. We've got that heater oh stand going. Like the girls are sitting here. I'm like, shoot, it's hot. This is hot and a so big good. fire. This was worth videoing. we got more logs here ready to go. You guys need some more logs on the fire? <laughs> you need any more logs on the fire? I'm good right now, bro. <laughs> I'm good right now. Look at this thing. That's very cool. I mean, that's the real deal. That's professional size. Mm -hmm. Woo! Oh, is it warm out here? Things. I think I the girls have got their throws. <laughs> they don't even need them. I don't think they need ah. them. Yeah. My feet are like little icebergs. We had a great dinner. We did. Yeah, it was really very good. good. Eddie made some fantastic chicken. chicken. Did you do the green beans? Yeah. She did. They were good, too. You did them, Christina? Yes. Oh, my gosh. They were so good. She pushed them around in a pan with what? Olive oil and butter? Olive oil, butter, garlic, mm. onion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were uh, fresh green beans in yeah. a bag. Yeah. And they were like three, four inches long. They weren't real short. Yeah. It was like asparagus. It was really yeah. good. And uh, Eddie's got this. <laughs> Eddie's got this famous oh uh, secret. Uh, spice recipe show me. <laughs> I'm gonna pick some up. And uh, you made some homemade peanut butter cookies. Okay. Homemade? Well, they were <laughs> homemade. They were fundraiser for the kids. Yeah, they were good. So we're gonna sit here now and crush it. Absolutely.